Hello and welcome everyone. So we are in the last week of July, moving into the month of August. This is a big week, but it's interesting because we're gonna be working with the energy of the 31-4. So anytime we move through a four cycle, this really gives us an opportunity for a checkpoint to really go through the areas of our lives where things might be out of balance, things just aren't working, they don't feel exactly right or aligned. Areas where maybe we've been really trying to force things or sort of just flying full speed ahead and sort of missing the details. This is also a time when we can be we can be asked to look at where it is that we need to commit more to something, where it is that we need to put in more effort, where it is that maybe we've been procrastinating and our attention is really needed in whatever that area is. So I always like to say, especially when we move through a little bit of a longer four cycle, so a week is a little bit of a longer cycle, this is a time to really slow down, to take a close look at where it is that we've just been rushing through some, that area of our life and where it is that maybe we need a better strategy, a better plan, where it is that we need to be a little bit more refined and pay closer attention to the actual steps, right? So four energy is about mastery. It's about wisdom and using that wisdom to create something sustainable for longevity. And so if we're rushing through whatever this is, expecting to see great results, we're going to be disappointed. And so anytime you move through a four cycle, it, it um, by default sort of slows things down to shift our focus to those areas to get more serious about them, to clean them up, to sort of um, heal anything that needs healing, mend anything that needs mending, um, fix those foundations that might have gotten faulty over the course of the years or whatever the case may be. So if it feels like in some area of your life this week, things come to a halt, <laughs> it's not punitive. It really is trying to show you something that you would have missed if you were just flying, you know, full speed ahead. So though it can feel frustrating because sometimes with four energy, you know, it does require a lot of effort. It does require us to show up. And it does require us to be methodical, to have a strategy and a plan in place and to follow that strategy and plan. And so when we try to skip steps, sometimes, you know, we can be kind of um, shifted back to review whatever that is to do it in a better way and a more efficient way. So this can be around relationships. This can be around career, a project that you're working on, your health, um, you know, the, your physical home, whatever the case may be, however it shows up for you. But there's some area this week that's really needing your attention and really needing you to slow down and pay attention to the finer details. See where it is that you've been sort of just blowing through something or uh, ignoring it or procrastinating and now it's asking for your attention. One thing that I always like to say about procrastination, and we all do it, right? There's nothing wrong with procrastination. Procrastinating, it's not a dirty word. Like we're allowed to take a break. We're allowed to you know, put things off until tomorrow, especially if we feel called to do that. It's not about, especially the four energy, it's not about burning the, the candle at both ends and overexerting yourself and hustle and all those things. You're meant to take the time that you need and again, slow things down. And if something feels like you don't have the energy to complete it or put your energy towards it, put it off until tomorrow. But when it comes with procrastination, the key here is to not go to extremes. So if we're putting everything that we don't want to do because it's menial or it's boring or, you know, it doesn't excite us, if we're putting all of that off until tomorrow, then that can lead to overwhelm. We can feel overwhelmed by all that we have to do because it's not going to go away. It's going to continue to be there and we're going to have to address it. So when it comes to the four energy and procrastination, Put off what you need to put off to reserve your energy, to self-soothe, whatever the case may be, but just make sure that you're not procrastinating or putting those things off because simply because you don't want to do them, right? Because at some point you're going to have to do them and it's just going to become so overwhelming that it can cause stress and anxiety and all those things. So with this four energy, it is going to have you take a closer look at those areas where maybe you've been putting things off, maybe you've been neglecting things, um, maybe you've been trying to move really quick or force things in some area. 
this is going to bring it back and this is going to sort of pace you, right? It's going to pace you so that you can take your time, pay attention to the details, see what was missing. Now, with the 31 energy, this 31 can bring in the challenges. It can bring in additional challenges in this particular area of our life, whatever that may be for you. And those challenges are not punitive. It's not sort of to deter you or to throw you off course. Sometimes it can be. Sometimes when those challenges come up, it's to show us, hey, your heart's not in this anymore. It's not what you want. So why are you committed to it? Why are you pursuing it? And it can redirect us in that way. So sometimes challenges can serve that purpose. But a lot of times with the 31, the challenges that come in under this cycle are helping us to see something that we would not have seen without those challenges. So it's kind of like that tough love kind of parent energy where it's coming in to say, you need to see X, Y, and Z about this situation that you're not going to see unless you move through this challenge, overcome the challenge and extract the wisdom from it. So anytime we kind of move through a 31 four cycle, when we overcome those challenges and look back over what we've over, we've, what we've achieved, what we've um, managed to overcome, we can always see for the most part, how that challenge served us, right? And so if we don't get, get get caught up in like victim mentality, like, oh my gosh, the universe is out to get me. I have all these challenges in place, but we kind of shift our focus and see what was that trying to show me? Like, what is this challenge? What is this barrier? What is this obstacle trying to show me? Then we shift the, the perspective and we're able to see whatever it is that it's trying to show us, right? We can unlock that wisdom. And it can help to sort of direct us in the, the, sort of move us in the direction that we're meant to be moving in. So a lot of times we can start to see with this 31 energy how the challenges become a blessing as opposed to a hindrance or punitive or whatever the case may be. So I would say in whatever area needs your direct attention, wherever, whatever area of your life, maybe you've been again, sort of forcing or moving through too quickly, the 31 is going to come in and place some barriers, some challenges, some obstacles in, in your, in your way. And again, it's trying to show you something. So break that down, journal about it, do whatever you feels good for you to be able to get to the root of why that challenge or that obstacle has been placed in front of you. And how you can overcome it because it's in that overcoming that you'll unlock the wisdom and then be able to use that wisdom to move forward. It's interesting because we have with the 31, the three and the one. So there's definitely something here about communication, revisiting how we communicate with others, taking a closer look at um, how we can become better communicators. Um, you might see some things come up where when it comes to writing or speaking, you're asked to again, refine that a little bit or revisit it in some way to see, is there a better way to do that? Uh, for some of you, this could be a time where you're asked to get serious about a project that you might be working on. So a creative pursuit, especially if it has to do with writing or communication in some way, um, speaking, um, any kind of those types of engagements, you could be asked to get serious about that, commit to it, put your energy into that, focus on it and see it through to completion. So for some of you, if you're looking to launch some kind of creative pursuit at this time, if you're going to write a book, if you're going to, whatever the case may be, but if it's um, creative, if it's communicative, if any of those things, you could see great success from that down the road, but it's going to require your commitment. It's going to require you to continue to show up and persevere and to overcome those obstacles that will likely be placed before you to keep you sort of aligned with the mission, whatever that mission may be for you in that moment. Um, if any kind of like health concerns show up for you at this time, this is definitely a time to get that checked out, to get serious about finding um, some kind of solution for that. Anything that comes up around your home, uh, your actual physical, you know, the structure of your home, definitely get that checked out. So in other words, if you if the roof starts leaking, don't let it go or you might have a flood type of thing. So four energy can slow us down, but it's really meant to help us to show us what we're we're not seeing, right? To and whatever that is, whatever we're, we've been missing will be the the piece to the puzzle that will help us to complete the bigger picture. So it's definitely for our benefit. Uh, even though it can be frustrating at times. So I hope it's a beautiful week for you all. Take care. Bye for now.